Meow. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Matt from Diazable, coming at you with another album review. And today, we're checking out the album Not Through Blood from the band Pain of Truth. Little background on these guys are they are a New York hardcore band. I would say like new New York hardcore. They're that part of that new generation of hardcore music and everything. And they have some affiliation with like the band Backtrack. I just discovered that the lead vocalist of this band, Pain of Truth, has uh, brothers in other uh, bands from back in the day, like one of them being Backtrack and everything. Uh, this is their debut LP that came out this year in 2023. They had an EP that come out during 2020 that was well talked about. And I'm not going to lie, when I first heard it, I was a little skeptical about it, didn't like it as much, but it did grow on me over time. So I'm really excited to walk down and uh, walk down, but uh, talk about this uh, debut LP from uh, Pain of Truth. So let's get into it. Lifeless on the ground. Uh, first thing I noticed on this song was the thick bass and drums that roll into this uh, song. The, uh, the riffs, very solid and whatnot. They uh, add a lot of texture to the song. Uh, the riffs are very uh, good on this track. Uh, it's a very bouncy and heavy song. And the gang vocals are layered very well. Like they're not like on top of the mix. They're kind of in the background. And it really, they're backing vocals. It sounds really good. Uh, the riffs again, as the song goes along, very hard hitting. They're pretty consistent. Um, with the the main vocals i think they're balanced pretty well with the instruments and everything so it's not too overpowering i think but at times the the instruments and everything the mix on the instruments is a little bit loud but i think it kind of works in a weird way like it gives a feel of a like, live show so not too bad and the end of the song has a really killer short breakdown good opening track Dear Heart, uh, this song is very fast, very intense, it's very go, go, go in the short like minute time span it has. Uh, the snare and cymbals on this song are used very well. You can hear them nice and clear. Uh, the playing on here, very tight and whatnot. Uh, and I like how the main vocalist, I think his name is Mike, and then uh, Scott from Terror and everything. I like their like back and forth with the, the vocals here. I feel like they really utilize the, the, uh, the guest vocals on this track. And overall, it's a short and wicked song, I think. With that being said, here's a small clip of In Your Heart. in your heart baby acting up uh the song starts off with like a short little like uh sample clip from a movie and then it goes right into some like tight drumming and everything very dynamic drumming it's like they're all over the place but in the best kind of way they sound good um the guitars sound really gnarly here and i think that's also like part of the feature from uh, the band 200 stab wounds i think the guitars and vocalist is contributing here in both ways in guitars and vocals because this song sounds really heavy um then the song kind of slows down and it like it turns into more like a beat down hardcore song which is pretty tight and i think in uh, the song they also reference the band 200 stab wounds like i think they use that as a lyric and it's pretty sick uh, the guitar work here very mesmerizing very catchy and everything and so far i've noticed that the guest vocals that they bring into uh the tracks and everything it's not like hey just sing on this part i feel like they really like bring in that band that person's style from their band and really infuse it into the song so very impressed by that and whatnot you and me i will say the the album is very self-aware and it's really cool especially how they talk about the features and infuse the features into the song because this song really at the very beginning tells you what it is and what it's about and it doesn't fuck around too much um and you, you know you look and see like the features on these songs you're like that's kind of weird but then you hear the songs you're like uh 
that makes sense. Um, this song is very, it's like hard vocals with even harder like riffs in like playing and everything. It just goes hard on hard on hard. Um, I would say also like the breakdown at the end of the song, it's got like a big like dog pile of energy. Everyone's gonna be fighting for the mic. Uh, Freddy sounds really crisp and clear here. Um, and that breakdown at the end is just bigger and it's just badder. And here's a little clip of you and me. You wanna play your game, the ball's in your court, and you'll keep me score and see a lot of hell. That's hard, baby. This falls on you. Um, kind of getting some like marauder influences and vibes with this track with the chugging guitars and everything. I definitely think they are taking that influence from the New York hardcore scene on this one. Um, and so far, like it's just track after track after track of hard hitting songs. Uh, everything's very good and like top notch, very impressive. Um, I will say the song's a little bit more slower and kind of pulled back than the uh, other songs that were, that were more intense and fast playing. This song is just like a bit slow and menacing and it's pretty dope. Uh, the snare in the back background really rings out very well. Art. This falls on you. Uh, the opening of this song really reminds me of Marauder with the wrists and everything and the vibes. Uh, they're really wearing the influences here and uh, it's pretty cool and everything. And uh, the tracks just, they all are slamming. They're all pretty good. It's just track after track of hard hitting hardcore songs. Uh, in this song in particular, it's more slower and kind of pulled back, not as fast, not as intense, but you know, that, that toughness is still there and everything. And especially on the snare drum, like in the background and everything, it really rings out and adds some texture to the song. And towards the end of the song, it really starts to pick up right before it goes into a really good, uh, breakdown. Too late. Uh, the start of the song is a bit of a mess, but as the song progresses, uh, it does find a bit groove and everything. Uh, once it has some good riffs, some nice percussions, it really starts to feel like a nice song and everything. Uh, just as husky vocals add uh, uh, a really nice uh, sound to the song on top of the guitars and everything, it matches pretty well. And then towards the middle of the song, they kind of switch it up a little bit and it turns into like some ignorant style, like beat down song and everything. Uh, overall, I would say this is their most experimental song so far up on this album. They're doing a lot of things here. And I will say it can get a little bit like uh, overstuffed with different kinds of genres and um, feel a little bit rushed at times. But overall, it's still a pretty good song. Looking at Scrubs, I think I'm saying that name right. Um, pretty solid hardcore song with the fast drumming, uh, the deep bass and the fast riffs. It's a pretty typical hardcore song. And uh, the vocals are sharp and clear here. There's a lot of energy here. They're not stopping the energy. It's constant mayhem. It's constant good vibes and everything. So I think these guys, even though they're playing like typical hardcore songs, they're adding a lot of emotion to them. So it feels very alive. Um, I love also like there's like a little bit of like, uh, they're hitting this, like the symbols really lightly and everything. It's adding some nice little bit of a, uh, ambiance to the song and whatnot uh but i will say the breakdown at the end of the song kind of weird out of our hands uh still they're going pretty hard on this uh album and everything but this is the first song where i feel like there's a little bit of repetition and it feels a little bit recycled but they're still giving you that hard hitting energy it's not like like low energy songs it's still high energy just a little bit repetitive uh the riffs they do sound good here especially when they let the guitar ring out a little bit, adds uh, some uh, flavor to the song. The vocals sound really hefty. And then like the breakdown, it just makes me wanna like me mug and just like go hard. So nice. Uh, same old story. I think this is like the only song without a uh, feature and that's not a bad thing. It's still a pretty uh, good song and everything, especially with the guitar tuning um and the bass and everything the bass is really thick guitars have a lot of a uh, um dynamic playing here so it sounds pretty cool drums add a lot a lot of grooveness to the song so it's good uh i think it's cool how like it's showing how hard they can go even without a feature so 
pretty impressive. Under My Skin. Overall, this song is just slow and heavy, especially with uh, how the bass and the guitar really plays on this song. They really give a, a lot of time to breathe on this song. Uh, I will say the vocals and the drums are in sync. They're very tight. They're just pop, 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 pop going off. Um, and then also like the vocals here, I think it's from the guest vocals. They're more like heavy and hard. So it really complements how the slowness of this song and whatnot. Um, I will say also too, the snare drum, very, very tight. Sounds like I was kind of confused for a minute. It sounded like a gun popping off a little bit. I didn't realize that was the snare being that tight. I thought it was just like they're using gun uh, sound clips, but no, nah, it's just the snare. Not Through Blood. Uh, overall, this song is just raw as fuck. Like the same kind of energy they had at the beginning and here at the end, it's all consistent. So that's really nice, especially when they work in the guest voc vocalist and everything. Everything just mixes pretty well and everything, especially with the strong bass here, uh, the mid-tempo beat and everything and the riffs. Uh, you can tell there's a lot of passion and a lot of like hard work went into this uh, album and especially on this track, Not Through Blood. Um, they just really worked it out pretty well, I think. So with that being said, here's a small clip of the song. It's a good song to end the album on, I think. Yeah, so that is my uh, thoughts on this uh, album from Pain of Truth, Not Through Blood. And the best way I can describe this album is it's a straight celebration of hardcore. From its earliest infancies to what it is now, Pain of Truth, have take you, they take you on a journey of like hardcore through the ages, especially with all the features they have on here. This is probably the most stacked hardcore album you'll ever find in your life with the amount of guest vocalists contributing to this album. And not the way I, they the way they also contribute is it's not like they're just doing a part on the song. They infuse their style of music, say it's terror or mad ball or 200 stab wounds and bring it into their song. It's not just a pain of truth song with them on. It's like both the bands coming together and really infusing themselves, which is very impressive and kind of hard to do consistently. And that's another thing about this album, it's consistently good. It's hitting all the right um, like marks over this 30 minute uh, album and everything. The guitars are heavy, drums are snappy, bass is thick. Like, I think they're not, they weren't trying to like do anything crazy new or anything, but they were just like, we're gonna make a good hardcore album and bring all the new school, old school guys together. And we're gonna make something awesome together. And I think they pulled it off pretty well. And I think in the next, like, like the new generation of hardcore kids and everything, they're probably gonna be like, oh, who's your influence and everything? Who got, what you got you into hardcore? Like, this is probably gonna be one of their uh, classic albums to name drop later down because they do everything here pretty solid and whatnot. So uh, with that being said, I would say this uh, album from Pain of Truth is a good, solid, nine out of ten Woo -hoo! thanks for coming on by thanks for checking out my review go support pain or truth by going to their store pick up some merch listen to their album and thanks for coming by and seeing me support me if you can if you want i appreciate it just watching is more than enough until next time guys bye